my no. no that's memory and stuff welcome everyone to inside franklin podcast this is inside franklin athletics but today we are going the show choir edition so it's a competition inside franklin competition podcast is the way we are going today we have with us uh, a group of seniors. We are doing this because there are 3,000 senior uh, members of the, sh the choir and show choir. And so we had to do it in chunks so that we could get them all done and not have everyone talk at once. Uh, I am Brian Powers. And I am Chaz Hill. And with us today, we have seniors David Doan, Bree Gibson, Logan Cord. Olivia Hoffman, and Taylor Funkhauser. Now, originally, Chaz, tell me if you think this is a great idea or the best idea ever. I thought that we could have all the seniors on and then, like, put them on the spot and be like, okay, sing a song. Oh, absolutely. Oh, the best idea oh, ever. Yeah, I know. But then I thought other than that, <laughs> Bro. Like, and utter like just train wreck. Yeah, so. but it would have been might a be funny right. train wreck, and that's what matters. Yeah, it would be a great one. All right, so we are going to start with David Doan, who joins us live from the break room at Kroger. Uh, okay. If you need some groceries or toilet paper, make sure you contact David Doan. David, we are going to do a special double one for you because you were not available to make it on the track. Uh, senior podcast, which is probably better for you because that was a mess. And oh, I'll, so, yeah, I'll be bet. <laughs> there were three guys outside. It was a windy day. We couldn't hear what they were saying. Someone was playing rap music. It was pretty much what you'd expect. It so, was chaos. Absolute yeah. chaos. So, that David, first like of crazy. all, uh, what are your favorite memories of track? The first time I ever won my hurdle race would probably be my favorite memory of track. And then Nick Riggles really helped out a lot with that, too. He was a senior when I started, and he just took me under his wing, and I just loved running with him. It was so fun. What what uh, did you do, 100 and, or 100, 110 and 300 hurdles? Yeah, I did 110, 300, and then I occasionally went in for the 4x4 four four and did all that stuff. That makes sense. It's like you're not uh, you're not doing enough. You're running a three hundred. You have to jump to yep to do the hurdles. So that's that's a rough one. All right. So uh, with show choir, what's or were you what which what were you in? Were you in show choir? Or choir? Uh... I was in heritage and I was in sig. So do you do you want my favorite memory for that one? No, I want you to explain what Heritage and Sing means to me. Oh, okay. So Heritage was the show choir one, which was the mix of guys and the girls. I was only in there for a year and a half because I joined midway junior year. And then Signature Sound was the concert choir where they stand and sing. Gotcha. Everyone. Gotcha. So um, this is for all of you. How many of you, just show of hands, watched our show choir podcast? Unbelievable. We, we did a one hour podcast. Hey, they don't even have their cameras on. That's not fair. Who That's doesn't? tough. That's uh, their fault. Oh, God. Yeah, turn it on, guys. We did a <laughs> one hour podcast on Show Choir. I know that it was Olivia. Yeah, and none of you watched it. I watched a little bit. I didn't get an invite, or nor was I told. I am hurt. There was no <laughs> invite to give out, David. I didn't even know it was happening. Like, what? Okay. I watched a little bit. Uh, thanks, Bree. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> no, one likes, <laughs> no one likes our content, Chaz. No, no one does. It's sad. It well, now that so I know hard. about it. Oh, yeah, yeah now, now we know. Now we know about it. It was it, a hot mess. I listened uh, to... Um, I actually controlled the cameras for the swim one, so I was involved in that one. That's true. That's true. That was that was that was a good one too. Okay, so David, what uh, um, what are your favorite what are favorite memories? Um, I got two. One for both. So Heritage would definitely be um my first competition at Pendleton. That one was a real good one. wasn't our best run, but that was the first time I actually felt like I was a part of the group. And then for Sig on our way back from. I think it was right before state. Um, I really had to use the restroom. And so I had to pee in a cup 
on a bus. And everyone made a joke about it. <laughs> it was funny. It was just a fun time the whole time. Weird, but fun. Wow. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Real Did bad. Did the cup have a lid? Yes. It was in private. No, it wasn't. It was on a bus with a bunch of it other... Was, it was private enough. It was private enough. <laughs> we were fine. We were fine. It was, fine. it was private, but there were like 50 other kids around me. I don't exactly. Worry. Yeah, I had a jacket on. It was fine. No one Were saw you me. in the back seat of the bus? Yes. Very back. Very back. Okay, that's a little bit more I, private. I, I made the person leave my seat to do it, and then I ran back to the seat I was originally in. It was probably truly right in front, but... It was not. I had to run all the way up to Taylor, and I was like, can I use the restroom? Like, is there any way... Is there any stop ahead? And he goes, no. <laughs> Just, when no. Uh, when I, I was in high school, someone did that in the back of our soccer bus, and then they threw it at a car. And so... Yep, that did not... I did not do that. Yeah, it didn't go... That wasn't the best of ideas for them. Oh, my goodness. To go with. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what are your plans, David, uh, after uh, next next Wednesday when you guys are done? I ship out June 27th to the National Guard, so oh, I'll be in Georgia. Fantastic. Well, thank you. What's your plans after that? Um, I'm going into the medical field, and then I'm going to run at one of the colleges that t uh, emailed me, and I'm going to be try to become a surgeon in the long run. Nice. Well, thank you. Thank you, David. Yeah, that's awesome. Did um, and then um, anyone you want to thank? Caught you at an inopportune time. If only you would have known that we were going to ask you questions uh, during this time, like we've been doing okay. for the last minute. Okay. And a half. I'm on. I am on my lunch, man. I haven't eaten anything all day, but um, definitely Coach Hall and my and Michael Hummel, both of them definitely pushed me to be better, and then. I'd say some of the choir kids for sure. And Evan Cottle with track. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be answering, so I'm answering both for track your, and choir. This is your day. Okay. And then, Anyone else? No, I think that's it. Any maybe family members? My grandma. Definitely my grandma. She's definitely been my biggest support. So I'd have to thank my grandma and then my sister as well. They went to most of my meets and my choir things and just pushed me to be better. And who is your manager at Kroger? Oh, gosh. Um, which one? There's like seven. The one who has influenced you the most? Uh, Justin Reed. So thank you to Justin. Yep. All right. David Doan, everybody. David Doan. <laughs> most awkward interview ever. Let's get it. Oh, you have not seen our podcast. No, not at oh, all. God. True. All right. So next, uh, we're gonna go to a guest of the podcast. Also, someone who is uh, one of my students, just a horrible, terrible student. And her name is Olivia Hoffman. Everybody, Ouch. I'm absolutely joking. No, you were not mm -hmm. a horrible student. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How are you, Olivia? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, just just absolutely fantastic, as you can tell. <laughs> just living life. Mm -hmm. Just th this is the seat I sit in for five hours and talk to a, a Chromebook that doesn't talk back. So Sounds like a blast. It's a it's a great time. It's fine. Uh, so for everyone out there, uh, yeah. what choirs were you a part of uh, during your show choir career? I was in Sensations, Heritage, Signature Sound, and Bella Voce. Okay. Bella uh, Voce. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> Call back. Call back to the amazing show choir interview that none of you watched. Awesome. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what is your favorite memory or memories uh, from your career? Um, I would have to say winning state for Sensations both years was probably one of the best memories. And then this past year with Heritage, after Warren Central's contest, we came off stage and we all were, like, so pumped. And we didn't make it into finals, but we were still just so pumped about how we did. And we all were, like, that was the first time we all felt good about our performance. So that would probably be the best memory. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, what are your future plans? 
Um, I'm going to Paul Mitchell for cosmetology. Fun. Awesome stuff. Uh, and anybody you'd like to thank or any last words? Um, I would have to thank everyone in choir for helping, pushing me and everything. And then definitely my family for supporting me through all of it. And awesome. Humble for allowing me to be in all the groups. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice job, Olivia. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to clap anymore for anyone. I'm going to do this. No, not again. I think you should clap. <laughs> Come on, Bree. They did the show choir wave. I thought they were, like, just waving. Honestly, the show choir wave, I haven't even seen since, like, sophomore year. I haven't done it since then. Well. You need to. I'm out of the times. I know. All right. Let's go with, uh, we'll go with Logan Cord. Logan. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. What's, um, you got, you're still um, celebrating Christmas, it looks like. No. <laughs> got a brick wall. That's a good setup. I like that. Like that looks very chic. <laughs> so, Lord Logan, uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Living the dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, what are uh, what are some what what choirs were you in? I was in Heritage and Signature Sound. Heritage and Signature Sound. Okay. And then, what are some of your favorite memories? I think. One of my favorite memories would be probably our Center Grove comp just because my old school was there and it was good to see them in the audience still supporting me. What's your old, what old school? Uh, Shelbyville. I transferred for my senior year. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's awesome that they still like supported you. Did they do this? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Well, that's cool, though, that they came and supported you and everything. So um, how was it, the, the transition your senior year? It went a lot easier than I was expecting. Okay, that's good. People were a lot nicer than you thought and not the evil people that you thought they'd be. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Logan, what are your plans after, uh, after this year? I'm planning to go to Ball State to major in dance performance. Oh, nice. And what do you want to do after that? Not sure yet. <laughs> you got you got time. You got time. Dance yeah. performance. Okay. Do you like do you do choreography or anything or that's the end goal to be a choreographer. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Very neat. For um for like performances or for musicals or how would that work? It just depends, I guess. <laughs> Where the road takes you? Yeah. All right. And anyone you want to thank? I would have to thank my parents because they let me transfer. <laughs> they weren't so open on the idea at first. And then uh, student-wise, I'd have to thank Lily Tarbin because she helped me even get in the group. All right. And anyone else? Don't think so. <laughs> All right. Logan Cord. Logan. <laughs> All right, next we'll go to Bree Gibson. How's it going, Bree? I had to turn my microphone off. I'm good. How are you yeah. guys? <laughs> Just still living the dream. I'm still sure. Living, yeah. Thank you guys for letting me go on your podcast. I know you guys have like the whole student body watching. This is so cool. I, I know. We are just so popular. Every You're single so popular? Every single student watches every episode, right, Brian? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, there are just millions of viewers of this. This is a rocket ship. Yeah, um, I know. I'm just, I'm so excited to be invited to such a growing podcast. Mm -hmm. And here, you're going to get fans too. It's, it's just, yeah, uh, everybody wins. Everybody I wins. I know, this is just fantastic. This is a great opportunity for all of us. All right, Brie, uh, what choirs were you a part of? Okay, so I... This year, I was in Sensations, Heritage Singers, and Signature Sound, but I started, like, freshman year in just Sensations and Bella Voce, so I worked up. So, you, and you did it all four years? Yeah, I did quite all four years. Awesome, awesome. So, of those four years, it's a lot of time. What was your favorite yeah. memory uh, while you were part of 
the Franklin Choir Program? Okay, so I'm going to say my favorite memory was gonna, is going to have to be from this year when I was in Sensations. Um, I would have to, I was one of the soloists, so I would have to go off one side of the stage and then I would have to crawl underneath the stage Mm -hmm. to get to the other side and I could always hear people like clonking on top of me and the underneath of our stage always had a ton of stuff underneath it so I'm like moving around like in Tetris trying to get to the other side of the stage and there was one time to move the risers we had these little things on wheels and we put the risers in them and push them and they were underneath it And I stepped on it when I was like moving through it. I stepped on it and my foot slid from underneath me and I just completely face planted underneath the risers. (laughs) And I didn't know if I was going to make it to the other side of the stage on time. And that's your favorite memory? It obliterated my face. Yes, it was hilarious. (laughs) It was so funny to me. A good thing you didn't like break your nose or something. No, I definitely probably broke something because I landed (laughs) right here. And I was like, there's no way that this is not broken. My nose didn't bleed or anything, so I was the most amazing part of my life. What I was so she, surprised I wasn't bleeding. What if she comes out, she's just got like blood running down her I'm nose like, or her yeah. face. That's, It's hardcore choir. Hardcore. That's, that's awesome though. Uh, so you just kept on going, Trooper, yeah. and just kept singing? Yeah. <laughs> despite the fact that your nose was most likely broken? Yes. That's amazing, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> And when you say you're, were you literally, do you literally have to crawl? Was it literally crawling? Yeah. So wow. it's not very tall. Like okay. if you look at them and underneath all of the risers, say it's like a square like this, you've got like cross planks okay. underneath it trying to like add extra support. So you like have to like. I got you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Wild. Can you imagine, <laughs> Jess, can, can you imagine us trying to do that? I'd be like stuck. And someone's behind me, and it's just like my feet are sticking out. And I'm just oh. yelling, give me the microphone. I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's exactly I'm singing how it right is, now. too. There was, and then there was the one time we didn't know. what It was our first competition with Sensations this year. We didn't know what to do with the mics. Me and my friend Kate Dowdy, she's a freshman, we got off stage and we handed our mics away, forgetting that we had to go back on stage and we needed our mics to sing into them. And I'm like sprinting and I run up to him and I go, give me the mics. Bah! And then I like had to sprint in like two seconds. And then afterwards she was like, why did you do that? And I was like, you I gotta sing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It takes a lot to run a choir show behind the scenes. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. What are your uh, what are your plans going forward, Bree? Okay, so I'm going to Indiana University and I'm majoring in psychology and I plan on going to medical school for it and I want to become a child psychiatrist. Okay. That's awesome. You got a little you got a roadmap. That's cool. Yeah, awesome. I do. Do you want to do you want to work in schools or do you want to like where do you want to where do you see yourself at with that? I, I know that I want to work in like a practice. I don't know if I would do I don't know how I do in like a school setting. I mean, I really, really like kids. And I've had a few people tell me I should be like a, gu- a guidance counselor or a teacher. But I feel like working in like a practice would be nice. Mm-hmm. So and I work with um, I actually babysit um, two little boys with a lot of um, mental illnesses. One of them has a bipolar disorder and a bunch of like tiny little things that add up. And then his twin brother actually has cerebral palsy. And so I work with them and I'm able to like get them to open up about a lot of stuff and Mm -hmm. talk about a lot of things. So I want to talk or I want to be able to help children that like can't get normal help with like their parents or something. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, Any last words? Anybody you want to thank? Okay, um, I want to thank Mr. Hummel and Mr. Taylor. Um, They're pains sometimes. I'm not going to not admit that. But they definitely push you to be better, regardless of if you want to hear the advice they're giving or not. And I actually want to thank Taylor, who's on this call, for waking me up. (laughs) Otherwise, I would not be on this. (laughs) Well, there you go. Big gifts to everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. And last, but certainly not least, we have the one, the only, the Taylor, the Funk Hauser. 
Taylor, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Good, good, good. Thanks for joining us so early today. Sorry that uh, we had to have you guys set your alarms for some of you, and some of you just relied on other people. Probably, I'm assuming you guys will be taking a nap after this, except for David, who is hard at work. I'm going uh, to he's an essential worker. He doesn't need a nap. David is an essential worker. <laughs> so, Taylor, what what choirs were you in? Um, freshman year, I started in SIG, Sensations, and Bella. And then sophomore to senior, I was in all four. So Heritage as well. It's a lot of choir. Yeah, definitely. So what are your favorite memories, some of them? Because you have been in 27 choirs, so there's a lot of memories. And so we maybe pare it down to like 10. <laughs> okay. Um... I have two. Um, so for SIG, it would probably be winning state freshman year. Just because coming into a choir program like with so many people was really weird. And so getting a chance to like work as a group and then win was like, oh, like we're for real. Like this isn't middle school. <laughs> like we're actually doing stuff now. And then this actually puts all the choirs together. So this isn't an issue. Um, we go to a competition every year, or at least not this past year, but the years before it called North Central. Um, and they do a thing there where they have a day show and a night show. So if you make night show, you perform more than once throughout the day. But they do finals for every single group that goes. So that day I performed nine times. And they were all like mainly back to back to back. And I only ate like one piece of pizza at 10 o'clock at night throughout that entire day. It was awful. But it was also really fun. So that's probably Sounds like a long day. Yeah, we were there till like two in the morning. <laughs> what time did you leave? Probably six or seven. That means you have to get up at like three. Yeah, that means you have to get up at like three or four to do your hair and get ready. So that's why you're sleeping in till 11 now is because you get to. Yeah, I'm taking yeah. advantage. I guess that's acceptable. I guess. <laughs> it's like the first day of off season when you're just like, nah, I'm not going to set an alarm tomorrow. No. I got gotcha. you. Uh, all right, Taylor, what are your plans after after this year? I'm going to Butler University to do a degree in pharmacy. All right, sounds good. And then be a pharmacist? Yeah. Okay, so what, you got six more years left of school? Yes. Fun time. Yeah, it's joy, joy. <laughs> um, and then anyone you want to thank? Um, probably my parents for paying all of the crap that we have to pay for because that's not easy um Hummel and Taylor obviously because they pushed me a lot to sing the way I can now and I definitely my voice has definitely changed over the four years so that's definitely on them and then probably my friends for not helping me go insane otherwise I'd be crying every night because I stressful yep but that's probably it all right Taylor Funkhauser all right, so uh, we just want to thank you guys and gals for um, for all you've done in the last four years. I know the sacrifices you've made, uh, as we talked about on our podcast with Olivia, just the time commitment and everything has been tremendous. And Taylor, you touched on it as well. And kind of your season, the way it ended just two weeks before state has to be, has to be incredibly um, disappointing to all of you, but as you and pretty much everyone I've seen, not only at Franklin, but just around the, around the world has handled it with, with just the, the utmost, um, I can't think of the word, but you've handled it very well. So that's, and I think that's just a testimony to, to who you are and how you are as, as individuals. So I'm, I'm very proud of you for that. And, uh, thank you for coming on. Anything Chaz you'd like to add? No, just uh, kind of echoing the same sentiments. Uh, it's it's really awesome how our choir program is is really one of the you know prominent programs here in the state, and to see you know just how many people it impacts and the success that it's had, and and you can tell beyond awards and trophies that the real success is creating the awesome memories the, that all these people have kind of shared today. Uh, so you could, just by hearing those stories and the friendships and all that stuff, you can tell that, you know, it, it's worth the time and, and the effort. And that's, that's kind of what the most important stuff is out of it all anyway. So it's really awesome that you guys 
have had a pretty cool program and made some really good friends. Pretty cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Well said. So uh, one more time for David Doan, Bree Gibson, Logan Cord, Olivia Hoffman, and Taylor Funkhauser. I'm in my I'm in my uniform now. <laughs> did you did you go personally thank your um, manager? Oh yeah, heck yeah, I did. Right after you said that, I went and talked to him. Good, very good. Very good. So for Chaz Hill, I am Brian Powers, and this is Inside Franklin Athletics Podcast. We will see you in a couple minutes when we record another one. <laughs> <laughs>